My name is Tanner Planis, and a few years ago, I stopped dropshipping physical products from overseas, and I instead wanted to do something different where I didn't have to deal with suppliers and I didn't have to pay a recurring product cost. So what I've started doing is something called digital dropshipping, and that's essentially where I'm selling products that I don't even have to make myself. And I basically buy the rights one time and then I can sell it over and over and over. So that way I don't have to ship anything and I also don't have to pay any recurring product cost whatsoever. And it's called digital drop shipping simply because you don't actually have to make the product yourself. And for the fact that it's something that you could literally get started with and start selling as soon as today. Kind of like the normal drop shipping model that everybody else already knows. But the truth is that most drop shippers fail. And if most drop shippers fail, why would you try to do the same thing that everyone else is doing? Honestly, if you're here in 2024 and you're just learning about digital drop shipping, you are early because this is something that's going to continue to grow as more info products start to come out and become more popular. And the reason why info product space is growing is because the self-education space is growing. More and more people every single day, like me and like you, are learning different skill sets and connecting with different people who are experts in different subjects through the means of self-education. We make money, we invest into these different digital products, we learn from them, we apply them, and we go on to grow and do whatever it is that we want to do. So right now in this video, what I'm going to do is take you through the exact steps needed to create a digital dropshipping store on Shopify. And I'm gonna give you the strategy here to go from zero to over 10K per month in doing this. But keep in mind, you're probably not gonna do 10K your first month. This is something that is gradual. You have to learn the different skill sets and then it grows from there. But every single day you spend not actually applying the things you're gonna watch in this video is another day going by that you're getting further away from that 10K a month mark. So without further ado, let's hop onto my computer. So now that we're on my computer, the very first step is actually the easiest. And what that is, is opening up your Shopify account. People ask me all the time, which platform should I use? This one, that one, etc. And I'm only ever going to teach you and tell you to do something that I've actually gotten results with. And this is the platform I've used for the longest time. So if you go to the top link in the description, it's an affiliate link, which means that if you open your Shopify account on this link and you go to continue using Shopify, then they will basically pay me for getting them another customer. So if you're gonna use it, might as well use the affiliate link if you wanna support me and the channel and if you get value from this video. So once you hit that link, it's gonna look like this. And all you do is you put in your email, you start a trial, and then it's $1 for a month. And when you do this, they're gonna ask some beginner questions when you first open the account, just like a little survey asking if you're experienced, if you have team members, this kind of thing. And they do this for everyone. So during this process, I would say it's best to just answer these things as quick as you can and skip through things if you're able to. Because all I want you to do right now is just get to the homepage right here and then we can continue on. So if you need to, pause the video, open up the Shopify account, and then meet me back here once you're at this homepage. Now the next step is choosing your theme. Your theme is basically the website itself that you're going to be selling on. And most beginners complicate this process of choosing a theme, but at the end of the day, it's a shuffle action. Because if you're just going from theme to theme saying, oh, maybe this one's good, maybe this one's good, you're not actually making any forward progress. All you're doing is shuffling from side to side. Something that actually moves you forward and moves you towards sales is something like actually getting people to your website. So for you as a beginner, if you want to make sales quickly, then what we need to focus on instead is the product and marketing. This store side is one of the easiest ones. So what I want you to do is just head over to this link right here. It's basically where Shopify has all of their themes. And if we go over here on the left and click on free, this is all we need. And it's gonna make sense here shortly. Trust me, you don't need to spend a bunch of money on a theme right now. So what I want you to do once you go over here to free themes is go over to the one that says Dawn. And then all I want you to do is click try theme. And basically what this is gonna do is add this theme onto your online store. So then we can customize it from there. Now, once you've successfully added this theme to your Shopify account, you should see a message that looks just like this right here. It says you successfully added Dawn. And now you've added your theme. Pretty simple, right? Now, this is where things get a little bit different than your normal dropshipping store. Because what we're doing is now setting up the back end side of things before we get into the actual funnel structure. Because the way I like to do this is a one product digital dropshipping store when you're first starting out. But before we even do all that, we need to set up the back end. So make sure to pay attention here because this is, like I said, very different than your normal dropshipping store. So the first thing is we need to create a new product listing on Shopify. 
So let's say right here, this is going to be an example store that we want to use. Now, this is just for placeholder. There's nothing actually on here. Um, this is just for example purposes. So once you're on your homepage, you wanna go over here to products. And then what you wanna do is click add product. And here's where you'll be adding the name. So let's say example, description doesn't matter as much right now. Then your pricing, let's just say it's $19.99. And then what you wanna do down here is make sure you unclick this and unclick this. And now what's gonna happen is when you save this, it now knows that this is a digital product, which means that it's not going to ask for a shipping address when people actually purchase this product. Now, once you've actually created this product listing on Shopify, the next thing we need to do is automate the product delivery. So there's a Shopify app here called Easy Digital Products, which is free to use when you're first starting out. And in some countries it's not available, but if it's not available in your country, then there's another app called the Fetch app, which can do pretty much the same thing. But if you do have the availability to use this, then I would go ahead and install it. And then I'm gonna show you how to automate your product delivery. Because as you can see, for example, right here, essentially what we can have happen is as soon as someone goes ahead and purchases our product, they can download it on the thank you page. And this app will also deliver the product to the customers through their email. So basically once you're in the app, it'll look just like this right here. And all you're gonna do is click this red button, say create digital product variant. You'll type in your product name, you press pick product. Then right here is where you'll actually upload your digital product file, and then you click upload and save. So now when a customer buys, this file that you uploaded will be available to them on the thank you page, as well as directly sent to their email. Now, the next thing we need to do is automate your Shopify fulfillment, because if we go back to this little example store, we can see that there are 16 open orders here on the left. But when you're making sales and you're seeing this number continue to stack up and stack up, it becomes kind of annoying, right? You don't actually want to see that there. So how can you automate the fulfillment so that way Shopify marks it as fulfilled, this number doesn't stack up, and everything's good to go? It's actually pretty simple. All you're gonna do is go to the settings in the bottom left. You're gonna click over here on checkout. And then what you're gonna do is scroll down here to this order processing section. Then you're gonna change this right here to automatically fulfill the order's line items and then save. So now whenever you make an order, Shopify will automatically mark it as fulfilled as well as that app is delivering the product to your customer. And then the next thing I want you to do is to automate your currency conversion. Instead of using some random third-party app to try and automate your currency converter, instead what you can do is use something called Shopify Markets. And the first thing you need to do is install this free Shopify app right here called Geolocation. And once you add the app, this will pop up right here. And all I want you to do is just unclick this show recommendations. Because if we keep this up, it doesn't really make sense. It says get shipping options for United States, but we aren't shipping anything because it's a digital product. So we can still get the same use that it has just by unclicking this right here. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go here to the bottom left again to settings, and then you're gonna go into markets, and then you're gonna be able to set up for individual countries, the currency converter automation. And essentially what you're gonna be doing is adding a market, and then you're gonna choose specific countries. And I recommend you start by just doing the top five countries like I have here, for example, United States, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and United Kingdom. So let's say, for example, I want to add India as a market. I'm gonna search here, India, okay, click, add market. And now what I'm gonna be able to do here is set up custom pricing for the Indian rupee. And now here I can adjust the pricing if I want to make this 100,000 rupees, and then I could save it. So now if we go back onto the geolocation app and change this location to see if it's working, I click on India, and now I can see this one's 100 rupees and the example one is 100,000 rupees. Now at this point, you're almost ready to start selling. We just have to build the one product landing page and start marketing, which are both things that we heavily focus on inside of DDM. So far, since I started talking about this, we have over 28,000 members in the free Discord and over 1,500 paid students. And these people have been producing some pretty awesome results so far, just by using the blueprint and the coaching inside of there. And right now I'm doing a special challenge. So if you're interested in learning more about it and joining, just message me the letters YT, which stands for YouTube on Instagram, and I'll send you special details. That way I know you're here from YouTube. So now let's get into the one product landing page design because you're probably wondering at this point, where is my website? What does it look like? How do I change that? And that's where we're at right now. So at any time when you're on the homepage of your Shopify account, you go over here to online store, and now you're going to be able to see right here by clicking customize. 
And this is your Shopify theme where there's a lot of different drag and drop options you could do on here. And for you right now, just starting out, this probably looks like a whole bunch of nothing. So how do we change that and turn this into a one product landing page? Well, the first thing we need to do is actually get the Gym Pages Landing Page Builder app. Now, this is another app that you can use for free to start out. And what it's gonna allow for us to do is basically make anything we want on a Shopify page. That way we're not just relying only on the Shopify features. It's drag and drop, it's pretty simple to use unless you're not very tech savvy, but if you're watching this so far, you probably are somewhat tech savvy and could definitely figure it out with this guidance. So I'm gonna show you right now how to actually do this. So if we go back here to the store and I go to my apps and I open gym pages right here, then the next thing I'm gonna do is click create a new page. Now for you, when you do this and you click start from scratch, it's gonna be essentially empty. And you're probably wondering, well, Tanner, what is the next thing that I'm going to do to actually turn this into a converting landing page? And I'm gonna show you right now an example template. So that way you can replicate this for yourself and your very first digital product. So as you can see, this is kind of a drag and drop way of building a digital product landing page here on Shopify. And I'm just more so going to explain the actual sections itself because you can see there's a few sections that all add up to this one landing page. And the idea of this is to basically make something that has no distraction. So that way when you're running traffic here, there's not a bunch of different pages to look at and about us and contact and all that stuff but instead it's solely focused on this one offer and getting people to convert. This is gonna be the best and simplest option for you as a beginner who hasn't done this before. So the first thing here is this banner at the top. And essentially the idea here is to have an end outcome statement. Instead of saying, hey, are you struggling to use AI? Do you not know how to use ChatGPT? Instead, I want to relate exactly to that outcome. Build profitable eBooks in minutes using artificial intelligence. That is an end outcome statement as the banner. And the next section is for the product, the actual offer itself. So we'll have a mock-up for perceived value, the title of the product, the price, four bullet points focusing on the actual product value itself, and then a call to action button directly to the checkout. And then after that is a section where you can start to relate to those pain points. So if this is the pain point here, then you can start to relate to that here. So essentially this is all one big product description, but just basically torn apart into different ways so it's more digestible for a potential customer. So after you relate to the pain points, you can introduce your solution, call to action button, you explain how the product actually works. This is where a lot of people mess up. They don't explain how the product actually works and creates that end outcome at the top. You know, what are the steps to get there? You don't wanna create a list of options. You wanna have steps that take them from point A to point B. Then another offer section, if they need anything else to be able to use the product, you wanna include that here to set proper expectations, which also ties into the frequently asked questions because people are gonna have questions and this is a place to basically answer those. And the things are usually about like, how does a digital product work? What's a refund policy, etc. And now to finalize everything we've done so far, we just need to go over to gym pages. And if your page right now is not on the homepage, all you wanna do is clone to another page type and make it the homepage and then set that as default because now what's gonna happen is when people go to your website, the homepage, it's gonna to go to this landing page. Shopify doesn't allow you to do this with their own pages, so this is a pretty cool option that you can do immediately. And then you wanna make a contact page because you have to have some form of support, so like this is the only other page that I would really add when making a store. And this is pretty simple. You just go to online store, you go to pages, and you go to add page, and we could just call this right here, contact, type this in, and then we choose default page to contact, and we save that, and now we have a contact page. This basically just comes in default with your Shopify theme. And the next step is setting up your navigation, which is pretty simple as well. All you do is you go to main menu, and now you're gonna be able to add the different menu items. So you can have your product, so let's say it's product name, and then you can just choose this as homepage, because we just, with gym pages, made the landing page a homepage. And then we can go here, do a contact, and go to pages, contact, add, and you're good to go. And the last two steps here are adding a logo to your store and adding a domain, which both of these are just kind of tying up these loose ends so that you will be officially ready to start selling. So to add the logo on your store, you go to your theme here in Shopify, you go to customize, you go to settings, you go to logo, and here you're going to be uploading your logo that you've created through Canva. And then for your domain, you just go to settings and you go to domains. 
and now you're gonna be able to add your own domain. And at this point, you should have your complete one product digital dropshipping store ready to go on Shopify so you can start marketing and start making sales. And what I'm gonna do in the comments below is attach some examples of digital dropshipping stores that are actively making sales right now so you can get a few ideas of inspiration in different niches and different products and use that to start your own journey. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.